Hey everyone, um, yeah, it's been a while. Ooh, what is this going on with my hair? Oh well, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm coming to you today with a, with a, a heavy heart, and I have really tried to kind of guess rein my emotions, my thoughts, my feelings, um, my reactions to what has transpired over the last few days um, in the event, the unfortunate, untimely the death of Mr. Floyd's murder in Minneapolis and and the anger and the frustration and the uncertainty of how this how this even happened and and even for all of those before Mr. Floyd um, you know Rodney King you know Trayvon and, and all of those in between you know and I decided today that I'm not going to be um, the silent person because for me, I feel that being silent in how I feel about this and, and sharing, just being authentic and sharing my thoughts in a productive manner, right? Um, if I don't do that, then I become part of the problem. And um, I'm not part of the solution. And so, you know, this may be a long vid, all right? I'm just going to say that because I've got, I've got a lot of thoughts to share with you and some history of my own to share with you. And, and if it offends some of you, I'm not going to apologize for that, but you can make whatever choice you want to make. Um, unfriend me, block me, whatever that may be. But what's interesting is, is that what really solidified it for me today in talking about this is that through another platform um, within my industry the question was asked do you even even speak about political or you know highly um, accelerated sensitive issues and many of them said no um, either a because they weren't educated enough and no I'm not educated I'm not a you know a, an expert um, on this topic but I was like, wait a minute, you know, as a coach, it's so important to help be that bridge for other people to navigate their own feelings. And being able to be vulnerable enough and to be courageous enough to share your own thoughts about that, to me, is what creates the relationship um, with folks and also to help see um, help people see things from a different perspective um, and or to feel a sense of peace even if it's just for two minutes three minutes five minutes whatever however long this video is going to take but I'll just say this that just like you the senselessness of what has happened no excuse. I don't condone it. Um, the appropriate actions and charges need to happen. But how people are responding, and yes, the majority of, of people around the globe, especially in, in the country, and even in my own city, and watching you know these protests over the last three days, most people's intention is to protest in a peaceful manner. Exercise your, your voice, right? Um, be able to stand in solidarity solidarity and those that are choosing to escalate this to really hurt other people innocent people in innocent people's businesses like a small business owner like myself who had nothing to do with the actual event itself is is just heartbreaking it's heartbreaking now the question is is Okay, then, then what do you do? What do you do? H how do you make a change? And how do I even come to you today to even... I, I'm not here to provide solutions, but I'm here to say that as a young girl growing up in a very small farm town community um, in Iowa, in a predominantly Caucasian community, um, and even though my family was highly respected, you know, growing up, you know, being, 
being at the subject or at the effect of racism in sixth grade, having a, a crowd of, of kids follow me um, and chanting nigger. Okay, I said it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, and say the N word. That's what I was called. And you know, my my family, my ancestors, who truly came from a heritage of slaves on the Martha Winston Cottonfield plantation in Virginia. We were taught to be the bigger person, to respect who we are, know know who we are, and that what other people think about us doesn't matter. Now. I'm not sharing that with you to magnify my, my experience with quote unquote racism or to minimize what others may have experienced and for those who have lost their lives and my heart goes out um, to all of those families. Has, have I experienced um, because of the color of my skin and a situation where um, surrounded by police and having guns pointed at me. Sure. Yeah, sure I have. I've said it and that's the truth. But I'm going to tell you right now that what is happening, especially when we, our emotions are already extremely heightened with COVID-19 and we're starting to make a little bit of a turn around that. Then we have this happen and that feeds the fire. It feeds all of the uncertainty again and is creating so much division. I've got on today this shirt. It's, it, it's part of the poem movement. My little cousin, four years old, um, who had passed away from... Um, an ATV accident and his parents my first cousin created a do what's right the Pono do what is right be the example be the person of motivation be the person of inspiration you know I call yeah I've been called the mustard seed of inspiration and I'm just here to tell you to do what is right. I'm not telling you how to feel about it, but however you are feeling about it, do the right thing. Don't harm other people. Don't harm small business owners like myself who are trying to thrive and who are trying to make a, a difference in this world. Be part of the solution. That's all I got. And you know what? I am going to close it out with one thing. <coughs> Excuse me. I sang this song at the very onset of the COVID-19 um, stay-at-home orders. And I'm going to sing it again to you today because this is my prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven lead us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory.
And yes, even Malu singing with me. Stay blessed out there. Do the right thing.